here. Come again. Yep. <gasps> I've got some great stuff here. Appreciate your business. Hey, get on in here. again. Got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. Yep.
Master Sun Chuan, I must express my gratitude to you for agreeing to form this alliance with us. I should be the one thanking you. I am honored to be your ally in this battle, Master Liu Bei. And I believe this is your sister, Lady Shang Xiang. I am delighted to see you again, my lady. I am happy to see you as well, Lord Liu Bei. Let us put our best effort forth in this battle. As much as it shames me to admit it, I'm afraid my forces are small in number. We may not be as much help as you had hoped. We will do what we can, of course. Master Liu Bei, we would never stand a chance at victory without your help. Thank you for agreeing to stand with us. Excuse me, but I must be taking my leave. I have to see to the battle preparations. Of course. I will see you again shortly. Together we must bring judgment to Cao Cao. Sister, what approaches? We must go back and check our preparations again to make... Do you We need a hundred thousand arrows for th If it... I will send... The enemy's... So it sounds off. Do you have a moment? Want me to take
A letter from Lord... Yeah. Well, I've... I know what to do. Don't worry. I'll sell it to them on the cheap. Yes, I do work for Lord Young Gun. So much. Ah. You need me. Yep. Oh, I'm so glad that... Very well. The closer we are to the enemy's ships, the more potent the fire attack will be. Huang Gai will pretend to defect to get close to them. In order to make this defection convincing, we will need to give Huang Gai a beating in front of the enemy spies. I have gone over the details with him. Now we just need to carry out the plan. Go with Tsai He and Tsai Zhong to Huang Gai's side. That's it, my sister. Very well done indeed.
I didn't expect such a gift. Thank you! We'll start drinking it at once! Horses were thrilled to receive my gift. I wonder how they'll handle being drunk on top of being seasick. Turned out well. Oh, that's it, my sister. Very well done indeed. Work if I'm not beaten words I heard and say should can see it. What? Master One Guy is going to be executed. I need to be there! They're starting the execution! One guy. Master. <laughs> Cao Cao would respect you. Who says a woman has to be weak? You are truly enchanting, Lady Shang Xiang. Glad that turned out well. That's it, my sister. Very well done indeed. Xiai He has fallen for the bait. Master Wong Guy has begun his preparations. I've been told to expect you. Come on, get aboard the ship. Here we go. I just hope this works.
think this should do it. Now, everyone, attack all at once! The enemy! The enemy is attacking! Fire everything we've got! That should do it. Brave warriors of South South forces, thanks for the arrows. Yeah. Curse it! This was all an enemy plot. Yeah. Well done indeed. We have enough arrows now. We must deliver them to Sun Quan's forces. Yep. Oh, I'm so glad that turned out well. You are truly enchanting, lady. Are we ready for the upcoming showdown? I must check and make sure. I'm surprised. We actually managed to gather so many arrows so quickly. This will give us plenty of archers to strike the enemy. It looks like Cao Cao's army has fallen for our false report. I imagine Sai Mao and Zhang Yun will both be executed after this. Our plot was a success. It looks like the enemy has bought Wang Gai's defection. The enemy is currently having a party due to a shipment of wine they received. Hmm. I wonder how they obtained it. Okay. This is the time to rest and ready our mind and spirit for what lies ahead. We must be prepared for the coming battle.
It seems that Cao Cao's fleet has begun making its way south. So they've made their move. When will we launch the fire attack? Setting the fire trap now would be ineffective. I require a little more time. If we succumb to the enemy attack now, all of our preparations will have been for naught. We must hold off their attack until we are ready to launch the fire attack. I understand. Tell our men that we must endure the coming enemy assault. The final showdown has arrived. We shall use our fire attack to burn down Cao Cao's ships. The most efficient way to burn the ships is to make sure they're tied together. For that, it might help if they're worried about seasickness. I'll start by taking out any naval troops weakened by the rolling waves. Then, Cao Cao will have to do something about it. Wait for the proper moment, and then launch our boat. Everybody, we just need to hold out until then! We've placed archers all along the river. The enemy won't cross easily like this. This is also thanks to those 10,000 arrows. Men, let's do our best too! Lord Sai Mao and Lord Zhang Yun have been executed as enemy informants. Hold on! We have to fight without the two of them? On water? Impossible! Time has come! Ugh. My head is hurting. Yes. It's never been this bad before. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> drunk at all. Oh. That wine from Pang Tong was so good. Shall we start the plan? What? Guy, are you going to surrender to Cao Cao in that ship? But the ship is loaded with oil and brass. What a peculiar cargo. I see. Material stolen from the U. Your hatred is strong, Master Huang Guy. Yes. Let's stop suspecting Master Huang Guy. It seems his surrender is real. Looks like I'm actually gonna pull this. This is for all those who sacrificed. Oh, I'm 
so glad that turned out well. Yep. You are truly enchanting, yep. Lady Shang Shang. My men are struggling with seasickness, and now the enemy approaches. This is most unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Enemy! Enemy is attacking! Oh, I feel too sick to fight. to do something to prevent this seasickness. My troops look as ill as I feel. Who says a woman has to be weak? Yeah. That's it, my sister. Yep. Very well done indeed. <gasps> That turned out well. I know how to get someone's attention. Leaving this place undefended is dangerous. I shall see to its defense. <laughs> Greatly. All yep. units march. My head is hurting too much to fight. It's never been this bad before. Our men are not used to being on the water. We need to find a way to help alleviate their seasickness. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Losing from such an advantage. What did I do wrong? Three is ours. 
That's it, my sister. Very well done in... Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Those men look like they're up to something. We should probably deal with them now before they cause us any trouble. The enemy will soon realize what we are up to. We must keep this place safe until the wind begins to blow. The enemy is behaving rather strangely. I think we should put a stop to their plans before they proceed any further. Our victory hinges on the successful execution of this prayer ceremony. I will not allow you to ruin it. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. We don't stand a chance in the face of such fierce resistance. I was hoping to find out what they were up to. Hooray! Victory is ours! You are truly enchanting, Lady Shang Xiang. Gained my respect. Actually, I marvel at your skill.
time to attack! Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly! All units, march! No need for you to join this battle. Simply sit back and enjoy watching me take out the enemy. My lord, watch me. I promise to blossom on the battlefield like a beautiful flower. Journey to end here. Excellent. Oh my. Hooray! Victory is ours! Excellent. I marvel at your skills. Sao Pi and Lady Chen Ji have been defeated! What? That doesn't sound good. Okay, I guess it's up to me to break through the enemy lines then!
This area is all mine. could win this battle on your own? Such arrogance! Yep.
week. Good glory, that was amazing! I don't think I could do that. Yep. choice in the matter. I shall be your opponent. Marvelous! You fight with strength as well as cunning.
woman has to be weak. It looks like the enemy forces have started to worry about the effect of seasickness. Perhaps I need to have a word with them myself. How could I let this one escape my grasp? My failure is worthy of the harshest punishment. The din of battle has caused me to lose the song that was in my head. Maybe it will return to me once the land knows peace again. takes care of the enemy here. Time to march onwards. Should be far enough. I'll just go and make sure the enemy ties their ships together. Oh, I'm so glad that turned out well. Marvelous. You fight with strength as well as cunning.
if you're feeling seasick, just tie all your ships together. That'll fix it right up. I've heard a great idea. If we chain the ships together, then we won't get sick. Report suggest. Lord Shushu was good to me. This area is all mine. You really saved us. Drink. Come on. Drink some more. It's a little pre-victory gift. You make sure you drink it all. Well, I guess my work here is done. The strength of my guard! Have you made it this far? Defeating me will not benefit you in the slightest. You know. What's that you say? I should evacuate because of fire. That's kind of you to warn me. Thanks. That turned out well. Impressive. Just how is it that you managed to become so powerful? Witness the strength of my bow! My lady, you are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms.
sorry. That is all for today. Who says a woman has to be weak? Yep. You are truly enchanting, Lady Shangxiang. Understood. Hey, Zhao Zhao! If you want a piece of us, come get it! Very well. <laughs> Their attempt to taunt us is pathetic. They must realize they need a desperate plan if they hope to win this battle. It is time for us to crush our weakened opponent and claim our victory! All units, advance on the enemy main camp! No matter what you are scheming, now, bow down before my ambition. We will fight to the last man if we have to! Continue this desperate struggle. It will do you no good in the end. I must pull back here, but my ambition is not yet extinguished. Who says a woman has to be weak? You are truly enchanting, Lady Shangxiang. Haven't the southeastern winds started blowing yet? Zhou Yu, we cannot wait much longer. If the winds don't pick up soon... Wait. Did the direction of the wind just change?
Master Zhou Yu, the wind! The winds are blowing, just as we anticipated! My lord, give the order to march! Okay. Order the forces of Wu to crash down on Cao Cao like a hurricane! Yes, my lord. All units, prepare the fire attack! We shall sink Cao Cao's navy to the bottom of the Shangjiang! Master Huang Gai, get ready to launch the fire ship! Understood! This is gonna be the greatest battle any of us have ever seen! Just wait, Cao Cao. The flames of Wu shall engulf your ambition whole! Let's go! This battle's ours for the taking! shown us the way. Listen, men of Sun Wu, have courage! It's time for us to defeat Cao Cao! <laughs> our chance to claim Cao Cao's head. We must catch him before he can flee to Cao Ren's side. We must defeat Cao Cao before he can meet up with his allies. All units, begin the pursuit immediately! The enemy camp is ablaze! The fire attack is a roaring success! Ha ha! It's all thanks to whoever defeated those enemies that were trying to block the preparations. Launch the ships at once! They're all going to burn at this rate! No! The ships are all linked together! We couldn't run away if we wanted to! Halt! The enemy is on its way here! Take defensive positions! Defensive positions! We cannot allow Master Cao Cao to fall in battle here! Uh, quickly, begin our glorious advance to meet up with the main unit! This is as far as you go. There's gonna be nothing left for you but ashes when I'm done. Now is the time for us to launch our attack. 
It shall change the course of this battle. Words simply can't express how amazing you are. Chase down South South and secure victory. Done indeed. Report! Lord Salren awaits you! 
this battle will be won if we can meet up with Sao Ren. If we can't, then we are as good as dead. Hey, it seems Lord Leo Bay has vanished. I hope he is safe. not allow a single soul beyond this point. Face me, if you dare! to continue fighting on an empty stomach. Who says a woman has to be weak? Wow! You're really fighting hard, aren't you? Sun Jian, so this is what your children have become. Impressive. Cao Cao managed to elude our pursuit somehow. However, it'll be some time before he can recover from this defeat. We have an excellent opportunity to build up our forces while the enemy is unable to move. This is our chance to make a play for the land. Cao Cao's army has pulled back. It seems we have won this battle. You fought magnificently, Master Sun Chuen. The courage displayed by the men of Wu was most impressive. <laughs> you weren't too bad yourself, Lord Liu Bei. Isn't that right, brother? Please desist, Lady Shang Shang. You must not praise me when I do not deserve it. It embarrasses me. Unfortunately, we let Cao Cao get away. Yes, but that was to be expected. All we needed to do in this battle was claim victory over Cao Cao's forces, and we have done that. Yes, I could not agree with you more. You are right. We should savor this accomplishment. I am relieved that we successfully defended Wu's territory. That was most impressive, my lord. I only wish Master Sun Jiang and Master Sun Se could have seen you in action. Everyone! There will be a grand banquet to celebrate our victory! 
Tonight, we shall eat, drink, and be merry until the sun rises. Oh, that's what I like to hear. I'll invite my friends and really make this a party to remember. Master Sun Chuen, please try not to let yourself get carried away this evening. Master Zhuge Liang, I must thank you again for your cooperation. Because of you, we were able to protect Wu from Cao Cao. Not at all. I simply provided what support I could for Master Zhou Yu's plan. We owe this victory to the courage and intellect of the men of Wu. My only regret is that we were unable to slay Cao Cao. It does not seem to bother you, though. You said previously that it was to be expected. It's almost as if you knew that Cao Cao would survive the battle. Yes. I anticipated that Cao Cao would survive. Besides which, it would be troubling for us were Cao Cao to be killed just yet. Now, if you will excuse me, I must take my leave. It would be troubling if Cao Cao were to be killed. Just what are you planning, Zhuge Liang? The alliance of Sun Quan and Liu Bei was victorious at Chibi. The tantalizing prize of total control slips from Cao Cao's fingers, and he is forced to return in defeat to Xu Chang, where he works to recover. Now is the time to chip away at Cao Cao's overwhelming advantage. Sun Quan makes preparations to expand from Jiandong. Liu Bei's strategist will also not waste this opportunity. In a move to win Liu Bei his own country, Zhuge Liang quietly begins to act. Master Zhuge Liang, I appreciate the help you've given us. No, honestly, our victory was entirely thanks to your brilliance. You flatter me, Master Zhou Yu. Our victory at Chi Bi has given us an excellent opportunity to attack Jing Province. Cao Cao's army is exhausted after such a long march. It will not be ready to fight any time soon after its retreat, leaving Jing ripe for the taking. So, what is your next move, Master Zhuge Liang? Master Zhou Yu, you are fighting to realize a land ruled by Wu, a land ruled by Master Sun Quan. I am doing the same for my people. I am doing all I can to help Master Liu Bei rule this land one day. That is all. What are you planning? I am afraid I'm not at liberty to divulge any details at this time. I can say only that I wish to divide the land in three. I am working toward that goal. I look forward to seeing you again soon, Master Zhou Yu.
Divide the land in three? It seems Zhuge Liang has yet another grand scheme up his sleeve. We have crushed Cao Cao at Chibi. This is the dawn of a new age for the forces of Wu. Mm, it is important that we do not get ahead of ourselves. Yes, you're right. We may have beaten him this time, but Cao Cao's army is still quite powerful. It will take time before we can completely overcome him. The wars that plague this land are far from over. The chaos continues. Don't look so glum, Xu Shang. If the chaos continues, then it's up to us to bring an end to it. You're absolutely right, Zhu Rang. Master Zhou Yu. Our victory at Chi Bi is merely the start of our offensive. In other words, the battle is just beginning. We will require the assistance of your generation. You must continue to grow and improve for the battles to come. The battles to come? It sounds as if our path has already been decided. In a sense, it has. We are planning to seize Nanjun in Jing province. I would like for all of you to join me for this invasion. Nanjun is guarded by the defensive stalwart Cao Ren. It will not be an easy battle. Leave it to me then. I have yet to meet a man who can withstand the heat of my fire attacks. Master Zhou Yu, I don't suppose our next battle will be another joint effort with Liu Bei then? That is correct. This battle is entirely up to us. We only teamed up with them to repel Cao Cao's attack. Our alliance is a mere formality now that it is over. Actually, Zhuge Liang has already begun making his move in Jing province. I believe he is planning to capture it before we can. To steal it out from under us. Given our performance at Chibi, Jin province should belong to U. We can't let Liu Bei take it away. I see. Cao Cao is not our only enemy. Liu Bei, no. Zhuge Liang is someone we must be wary of as well. Yes, indeed. However, our current focus must be on taking Nanjun. Cao Cao's army may be weakened, but it is still formidable due to its sheer size. We shall have our scouts keep an eye on Zhuge Liang's movements. We must capture Jing province before he does. Once Nanjun is ours, the land will be divided in two. Everybody, I am counting on you to lead U to victory once more! Lord Sun Chuen, we're making the preparations for our impending departure. That's good to hear. Thank you for all your hard work, Lian Xu. Hey, those seem to be getting along rather well lately, don't you think? Yes, they appear to have the ideal ruler and vassal relationship. I agree. Lady Leon Xu is quite the skilled warrior. Our lord could not ask for a more capable attendant. That's not what I meant. <laughs> oh well, you men just don't get it. Seeing them like that makes me a bit jealous. I only wonder if there's anybody out there for me. What? That's what you were talking about? Just thinking of you leaving us to marry some man is enough to make me cry! It appears our lord has finished making his preparations. Is everybody ready to join the attack on Nanjun? Master Cheng Pu? 
What's the matter? You're unusually quiet today. Something's been bothering me lately. Joe Yu seems almost too eager to leap into action. I'm worried that he's playing right into the enemy's hands. Ha! I never expected you to be one to worry about Joe Yu, Master Cheng Pu. You're getting soft in your old age. He is an important leader of Wu. We cannot afford to lose him at this critical juncture in our history. I'm not sure what to think. But if Master Cheng Pu is worried about him, then I suppose we should be too. This is the moment of truth for Wu. We cannot allow any harm to come to Master Zhao Yu. I agree. I only hope Cheng Pu's fears turn out to be unfounded. Hey, cheer up everybody! It's good to have a healthy dose of concern, but it's equally important to keep your spirits up. Now, let's make our way to Nanjun. Our strategy is just like we discussed. We will join Master Zhou Yu in his attack on Nanjun. That I understand. What I want to know is, why have you stuck me with this creep, Master Lu Meng? Why don't you just shut your mouth already and get out there and fight? What? <laughs> Surely you're joking. You don't really expect me to get out there and fight alongside the man that killed my father. Are you still hung up on that? Get over it already. Silence, both of you! Have you forgotten your promise to our lord that you'd work together? Hmph. <laughs> ha! This situation is less than ideal. Although, it is my job to control these two. We have received word that Liu Bei's army is in Jing province. If so, it means Zhuge Liang is looking to use us to take it back. Even after our help at Chibi. We cannot let them have their way. Nanjun and Jing province belong in the hands of Wu, 